up? So it's a brand new day and this is the day where I'm gonna fix the problem of the Buick. Um, this whole time I thought it was like low on oil and it ended up messing up something with the, the rods or you know, just something crazy. It's got a crazy smell, like it smells like a lot of like stinky gas and, and when you get next to the mouth, the exhaust pipe, you can hear like a ticking sound, which is most likely misfires. Um, it's also running a P0300 code, which is random misfires. These, this engine is a 3500 series. Um, they all have this problem, which I found out just going through forums. So there's three different parts that really could go wrong, but for the most part, it's always the ICM. Um, so it could be the, one of the three things into the system, ignition system. And I don't have most of the technology to test for each system or each piece to the system. So I'm, I can only do one test and that test you're about to see now. So I'm gonna take all these off and then I'll turn over the car and this should make a, this should make a spark. This should make a spark together and this should make a spark together. Um, I think, um, I don't think I need to even take that off, honestly. I'll just take these off. You also don't want to confuse these. And I didn't bring any tape to make sure I don't confuse them, so. Oh, look, they got numbers on them. That's nice, actually. Okay, good. So, each one should make a spark with the other. interesting all right nice so you guys saw that it was these two this one sparked and this one sparked together there was no spark here so i'm gonna go ahead and swap this one for that one and if it's still no spark here then it's most likely just the icm and then from there i'll take all of these off replace the icm that's on the, under all this and then it should work again I do not have the right size socket. Kind of sucks. That really sucks. I don't want to have to do all this, but I'll be back, car. Yeah, so. <clears throat> they never sell these in a single, it's always a pack. Hopefully, I was using a six and it was just spinning right around it. Hopefully this floor is small enough. It definitely looks small enough. But here's hoping. I also hope that this is the problem because I just bought it. And I don't want to have to come all the way back to take it back and shit. Because, you know, just while I'm here, I might as well get the part. Even though I'm not finished my one out of three tests. And I'm only doing the one test anyway, so, you know, whatever, man. I'm going to do the test real quick. Might as well not even do the test at this point, but I'm going to do it. And we'll go from there. Let's hope this is the problem. Aha. Yes, sir. 5.5 metric is the answer all right so i guess we'll search the top one with the bottom one it's literally only two bolts that one and that one that one and that one all right so there you guys have it man so the bottom one still doesn't work so i'm gonna assume it's the icm uh, I just also found out I have 6% on my phone, so I'm going to just go ahead and get this done, all right? So every single, I found out they're called coils, by the way. Every single coil has two bolts on them. You just unscrew those bolts, and then it comes pulls right off every single one. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll check back with y'all. All right, so now that all the, <clears throat> all the coils are off, this just moves by itself. So I guess it's just those bolts that's holding the coils are also holding this. 
Got some bugs back here, some bees. And then, looks like the wires go right into this, so I guess I'll just pull that out. See how that goes. Maybe, I think this might be a bolt. I think this might be a bolt right here. Let's see what size it is. All right, so it's a seven, it looks like. Let's get that loose. Boom, just like that. Old one, new one. And then the new one comes with these. I guess I can call them gaskets. You just put them over these, just like that is. And then the green one, if you look in here, you just put it over all those. So it can look like that. You need a tripod. Boom, just like that, the end. We got the wreck fit, even though it's dirt last. Uh, I don't know when too tight. Or, I don't know when the tight is too tight, so I'm gonna stop right there while I'm ahead. And now I can get everything bolted on. Alright, So they're on and I got 2% battery left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that test again to see if they all three do the spark that they're supposed to do. And if they do, then plug the connectors back together and it should be back on the road. Boom, so I was driving it and this dude just breaks super hard in front of me. 
And I think I told you guys earlier, I'm carrying like this, this box of oil in my car. So it flies forward and then spills all the way down here on the ground pretty much totaling the whole entire interior of the car and now I gotta figure out how to clean that up I'm probably gonna need one of those rug extractors <laughs> try to soak as much as I can with the towels that I do have I got like three of them Definitely need more towels. And I don't really have any. So 